Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Kamalam Nusino Vuyo Montliwa and I do digital storytelling around natural hair and taking care of your skin and yeah that's what I focus on and this video is about actually three things so I'm going to mention the three things now so that you guys can prepare yourself it's going to be a long video number one taking off your braids I've done this before the same method applies to braids cornrows and freehand which I currently have so I'm going to be doing that. Number two, which is the most important, how to exfoliate your scalp. I'm going to explain why this is so important uh, when I come to that section. This is actually the most important thing that I've discovered this year so far. And number three is how I use castor oil to treat my hair. So castor oil has a lot of good stuff. Let's actually just, I'm going to do it with you guys now, what I do when I'm trying to explore a new product. So for example, custard oil, I'm gonna to go to Google. I'm gonna say custard oil benefits. There it gives me all the benefits of custard oil. So therefore I don't have to like sort of inbox anyone or um, spend too much time on YouTube. Maybe I'll, I'll go further and go onto YouTube. But basically, um, okay, the first one is not related to hair. So let me actually search better and say custard oil benefits for natural 4c hair okay number one promotes hair growth number two protects hair from damage number three prevents hair loss number four used to treat um dandruff and dry scalp number five conditions hair and number six improves the appearance of the hair so yeah so the, the, these are some of the good things that um castor oil can do for your hair i don't like to use castor oil um, as, a, as, as a sealant because it's too thick. So I'm going to show you how I use it to treat my hair. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm so excited. Okay, firstly, I've had this hair for about two and a half weeks. I thought I'd do two weeks and then I thought I'd do three, but like now I'm just like over it. Um, I don't think it's ugly yet. I actually haven't even styled it today because usually I lay my edges and I moisturize a bit, but I haven't done that today since I'll be taking it off. So I'm going to be using these two things to take it off. It's a spray bottle with plain water. The water looks a bit milky. I think the bottle's um, got a little bit of um, leave-in conditioner from before. And this sheer butter from Guni Naturals. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to spray my hair. So guys, I think it's really important to be able to improvise. So last time I didn't necessarily use sheer butter to take out my braids. I use the leave-in conditioner. The other time I use something different, but I mean, as long as you're hydrating and then you're using something to like, um, give your hair some slip, you know? Oh, I usually use leave-in conditioner, but I remember at Ruto's, they use shea butter the one time to take out my hair. So that works as well. I want to diversify and obviously, um, use different things so that people can also understand that you can use different things. I'm basically going to use my hands to undo my hair, but whenever I need a little bit of help, I'm going to use an afro comb. So that was a lot. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. It got tough. As you guys saw in the snippet, I did keep spraying water when the water evaporated. It's better to work with each section. So if you can apply the um, shea butter or leave-in conditioner, whatever you choose to each section as you go, the better. You can also use a conditioner, normal washout conditioner. You can also use a detangler. I just feel like detangler gets too much um, sometimes. This is the amount of hair that I shed. Remember there's a difference between shedding and breakage. A breakage is like unhealthy dry hair breaking and shedding is normal. I just took off my ring because it's gonna get a bit like interesting. So I always emphasize clean scalp guys. So I always say don't base your scalp, don't put product directly on your scalp. Don't put oils on your scalp, don't put creams on your scalp. Your scalp is supposed to be porous and it's supposed to be free and clean, right? So how I get the, I maintain my clean scalp is by co-washing every week. Um, I sometimes use apple cider vinegar to cleanse. And once in a blue moon, like maybe once in a, 
in a very long time I use shampoo to clarify when your skin you when your scalp is itching it's mostly because there's product in there and it's and it's sitting there so you need to get rid of it so I've been actually exploring other options for cleaning my scalp because I feel like it does grow my hair better and my scalp is clean I do refresh with water daily to sort of refresh it and just to keep it fresh but I need something that gets in there and removes dirt you know how like in like on your face I um exfoliate my face once a week I use a toner to get rid of that makeup or any product that's on my face which is the moisturizers and everything right sunscreen so for our scalp there should be a similar solution and to my pleasant surprise there's so much information about it so Taraji P Henson's products have an exfoliating um, sugar scrub and that she puts on her scalp I sent this to Kanyisa actually and I was telling her oh my god this is a must for the natural hair community in South Africa so she's doing a video I'm also doing a video and okay so then um, I Google there's a lot of Google I'm actually gonna read out some of the stuff on Google um, for you guys I also did my research um, um, in the in the in the shops so I went around looking and there actually are a lot of exfoliating shampoos. Unfortunately, I'm not a shampoo girl, so I couldn't find an exfoliating conditioner. And one of the videos Ukhaya is actually sent to me, the lady makes her own. So I decided to go to the shops and find a plain sugar um, scrub and then I'll add my own stuff in it just to make it a bit more um, sino. And then yeah, I'll show you guys how I exfoliate my scalp. I'm putting this into my weekly um, a wash routine so just before I just before I um, condition my hair I'm gonna do this every week and yeah so I'll update you guys after like maybe six months or maybe like three months to tell you how it's going but I do believe it'll help my hair grow faster and I do believe that um, it will just maintain um, a clean scalp or I don't have dandruff already because my scalp is quite clean but like I think when my scalp does tend to get itchy or sometimes I do see like uh, dirt maybe it'll clear that up not dirt but like product maybe it'll help with that so yeah let's see and I hope that you guys all try it and, and, and put it into your routine so my hair did shrink it was very short after I was um after I undid my braids don't be fooled by it now because I, I, I had tied it with the pony so that's why it seems a bit longer but still, please don't think that my hair doesn't shrink. A lot of people will say on Instagram, see, you no, know, my hair shrinks too much. It's supposed to. It's okay. So I'm going to wet my hair. Then I'm going to separate it into four. doesn't have to be a perfect line. I want to, like, get into every, like, square centimeter of my scalp, right? But I'm going to start by applying here. So what I did manage to get in the stores is this sugar scrub from the body shop. This one has shea butter. So I'm going to mix it into this plastic container for myself. This is what it looks like inside. This is a body scrub, but you can use it for your scalp. I will put some in here. Oh, it's so soft. So I'm going to take about this much. I'm going to put it in here. Then you guys can add your stuff if you want. Let me actually add some castor oil as I planned. Let me not deviate from the plan. This is plain castor oil. You can get castor oil anywhere, even discam. I'm gonna put a lot of castor oil. It's so actually the third part includes a castor oil treatment for my hair. So that's the consistency. Okay, so I'm gonna do this with my fingers. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put as much as I can. Oh my gosh, already I can feel my scalp. Like even just the, the spot that I rubbed, so much relief. Obviously I've got a lot of build up now because I had those cornrows. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. It feels like this is what I should have been doing all my life this definitely will help with dandruff and I've seen like I don't want to be judgmental but I've seen like the lady one of the lady a lady that was doing my nails she was like obviously looking down at my nails doing my nails and her scalp oh my god I couldn't believe it so much dead skin so this gets rid of that dead skin as well 
I don't think this anything can substitute this. I don't think ACV does the job that this does. I don't think I'm taking some of the pain as well. Oh, actually, distributes perfectly. Oh my! Oh my towel even fell. Wow, that feels so good. Wow. I'm assuming because the scrub is gentle enough for my body and my face, it's also gentle enough for my scalp. Wow, guys. I'm actually even going to do the front. Wow. Wow. Why have I not been doing this all my life? Mm. I don't know if the sugar... Oh. Oh. Wow. This is so good. So I'm going to carry on exfoliating in the shower. I want to do it for like 10 minutes. It also helps circulate your blood flow, I'm sure. Because even just rubbing without sugar scrub it helps um, blood flow. Okay, so for the treatment, the castor oil treatment, I'm just going to put castor oil. Not a lot, but I'm going to put castor oil into my hair. And I'm going to put it on my scalp, right? But this, I can only do with this castor oil right now because I will be washing it out. So I'm only going to keep this in my hair for about an hour. I have used it before as a sealant, but I've actually decided now that I don't like it. So why do I keep doing something I don't like? I'm going to twist my hair into two. And then I'll show you. And then I'll show you guys how this turns out. I'm going to put more castor oil. I think you should do this in the bathroom. You do this in the bathroom because there's a lot of um, sugar granules and stuff going on my carpet right now. And then you give it a, uh, 30 minutes to an hour and then you wash it out in the shower. So yeah, that's me for the next 30 minutes. Do not use your fingernails. You must make sure that you use your finger tips. I don't know what you call these but use this part. Get in there like this. I can feel the sugar granules everywhere actually. So that's the hair with the castor oil. So this is how much castor oil I put. So don't put too much. And I will rinse this out with conditioner. And I'll show you the after effect. You can also actually just tie your hair up or put it in twists. It depends what you're comfortable with for the hour. You can put a plastic bag, you can put a heat cap. I'm just going to leave mine as it is. Okay, I'll see you in 30 to an hour. Okay, I've actually decided that I'm going to cook and I'm going to go for a run. And then I'm going to wash my hair after my run with my body. So actually when I um, show you the after, it won't be in the setting. So I want to sign out properly now. Thank you for giving me your time and watching my video. I really, really, really do hope that you try this. If you're battling with dandruff, dry scalp, um, or if you just already are in a good like um, routine, but you just want to improve it and take it to the next level, your hair, I know, will grow quicker and will, your scalp will be cleaner and things will... I don't want people to focus on hair growing quicker, but if you want your hair to grow quicker, it will. Anyway, see natural. Till next time. And that's the final result, guys. I absolutely had to use a bit of shampoo in the shower, so I used um, Carol's Daughter it's very, 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 very um, light, non-harsh shampoo. Had to use a bit of that because the castor oil was just a lot. I used that to clean the castor oil from my scalp and just to cleanse my hair. But anyway, I followed up with conditioner as usual. I haven't done the lock method. I'll probably just spritz some leave-in conditioner. And yeah, I'm so, so, so happy with the result. I hope that you guys try it. My hair's strong. It's perfect. I haven't done a protein treatment, but it's perfect.